At this level 1 I'm going to make a brief parenthesis because I said at the beginning that duality deals with properties. Well, in classical physics, certain phenomena have wave properties and others have particle properties. To convince you that these are antagonistic properties, it is enough to remember that in a wave there is no propagation of matter. The wave arrives from the sea and dies on the beach, but no water molecule has propagated from the sea to the beach. The wave has only caused a vertical movement of the water molecules without displacement of matter. The same thing happens when fans at a football match do the wave. In the stadium, no one gets up to walk through the stands, all they have to do is raise their arms. On the other hand, in a particle flow there is a propagation of matter. These are two radically different phenomena. Let's go back to our boy and his father. That night, during dinner, they will try to explain to their mother what they have seen in the quantum room. Basically, a mixture of antagonistic properties, something never seen before. The father was so amazed that before dinner he called a friend who has a neighbor named David Bone to tell him what they had discovered and the two exchanged opinions. Let's say that the neighbor was also amazed and tried to help the father get an idea of what could have happened there in the quantum room. Now the father is going to explain it to the mother and it begins like this. It's interesting, in the quantum room the boxes contain objects that seem to be both softballs and noisy cubes at the same time. There must be some soft material inside the boxes that only appears when we close the boxes and that prevents the characteristic noise of the cubes from being heard. This is the father's explanation. The boy is only 8 years old and was born in Copenhagen during a trip his parents took to Northern Europe. Because of his young age, he is not influenced by the need to fit the new discovery with familiar concepts. Let's say he has a more open imagination and, interestingly enough, what he tells his mother is the following. We have discovered a new class of objects that are neither soft balls because they make noise when the box is opened nor hard cubes because they are not heard when the boxes are closed. It seems to me that we are going to need to create a new category of objects to understand what these little boxes contain. We have reached the limit of what we can describe with hard, soft, round, square. And he says to his mother, see if you can convince dad to abandon his prejudices and classical concepts before entering the quantum room. Otherwise, he is going to have a bad time.